a backup dancer questions the meaning of his work. A well-muscled and fitnessed backup dancer for the musical La La Land wanted to rest and rejuvenate and relax over the festive holidays. He had worked long, long hours with cast and crew. He had learned different types of dances. Not only did he work long hours, but he had been around people sweating and nervous and egotistical and wanting to look good, too good. He had broken through to some people in heartfelt ways with humor and friendliness. But he was tired now. He was so tired he simply wanted his candles lit with his best girl, and his chips, and his tangerines, and his sprite with juice and strawberries to garnish. He had played in an interesting movie before where the character teaches people about breaking down walls between rich and poor. He had done well with that and was pleased. This new role as a backup dancer with La La Land was different. There didn't seem to be a meaningful aspect to it. It just seemed he too was to dance and look good. Meaning in a production makes you feel more worthwhile. It helped him to feel like there were respectful reasons for working so hard. He wanted to show his best girl some of the dance moves that he had learned for the show. He wasn't sure how to go about doing that because he was shy around her. He decided to show her them a little at a time as they were walking through the kitchen or walking around the living room. Every so often he would simply show a dance move. He was really good at them. She, however, didn't know what he was doing. And it made her a little nervous that he was trying to intimidate her or make her feel strange. But then after a while, she got used to it, and it just made her laugh. It was good to see him freely expressing himself even for a few minutes at a time. She decided to try a dance move herself from a production she had taken part in years and years ago. She had a hard time remembering it. She remembered sleeping on a rock and then rising up to run across to the Greek god of Dionysus, and then banging a long stick down on the stage. And then listening to a drum. She knows there was a lot of dancing, but she had a hard time remembering what the dances were. Some of the students in the university production were dance students, and some were drama students, and she was a psychology major. Perhaps she helped them find meaning in their dancing, or at least ask questions about it. And perhaps she could help him find the meaning in his years of backup dancing. But she could not remember her dancing. She watched him dance. And smiled. The joy of the movement of the body is really quite something to see. And she told him that. Somewhat surprised he moved his head up and looked out over the detailed room to the bigness around and thought that maybe that was the bigger meaning for the joy of movement. She remembered being stuck sitting in her psychology classes. Sitting and sitting and sitting, she swiveled her chair, she drank her water, she looked at the clock, she made doodles in her notes until her pages were filled. But she did not know or have the space to move for the joy of movement. She had auditioned for the major university production in order to act. She had always wanted to act and as a little girl was the first person to an audition at a local hotel for a movie called One Magic Christmas. She went with a friend many hours before things opened up at her father's advice that they needed to show something extra to get noticed. She was excited and anticipated great things. She may have been called to act but no one was home when the calls went through and she was out that night acting in the junior high musical which music for the longest time she could hear in her mind with the beautiful melodies. She always wanted a leading role but had a hard time memorizing words or even a couple lines or words in songs. She changed her focus and worked on her leadership skills in high school, but never quite forgot her love of acting and got the highest marks in her drama classes. She also got the highest mark in her university acting course. And she tried to skip a class so she could be in a class with some of her friends. She was given the look of embarrassment at asking, and it made her question herself. How could she ask for such things in acting? where the actors seemed to always need to follow the rules and prove their worth over and over. And yet she was proud of herself for asking. She knew something by asking. She was quite thoughtful over the holidays with her best boy dancing every so often. Every time he did so it made her think of her own acting and of his joy. It made her think of the way he moved so gracefully yet playfully. The way he seemed to show happiness instead of simply feel it. 
it was something unusual and unique. Understanding him by helping him see the meaning in it was something that made her feel good. In psychology there are stages of development. There are some stages that people return to at different times in their lives to gain more mastery of. The stage of industry is a stage of doing something that builds so something or makes something or fixes something. And trust is a stage that relies on skills and with a broader sense of belief that things will work out. She saw both of those stages at work in masterful ways in her best boy's dancing. One of the things that makes someone feel so good is when they can learn something and show it. One of the ways this makes others feel good is they can envision it in a picture, and it can be so good to know that it exists, that there is a masterful approach to something special like dancing. She was able to envision some of her own goals or skills and think through ways to use industry and trust in successful ways. The skills learned may be very different than dancing. The trust and industry successfully used could be applied to different situations. It may be reading a page of a book. Seeing the joy in the dancing could help the person to read a page in a book with happiness. It may be even different than that it could be learning a song on the piano. Seeing the joy in the dancing could help the person be able to feel their fingers dance on the keyboard. It may be even more different than that. Seeing the joy in the dancing could help the person feel good enough to help someone by using pictures of feelings to show what they were experience. In circles of wonder the activities of one person affect the others. The young people that the backup dancer was dancing with were affected by his joy of movement. After long talks well into the evenings in candle-lit rooms with many jugs of water and juice with sparkling soda to add to them. There were times when she was able to convey these words in different ways. She told stories, told poems and showed him the affects of his backup dancing. What he had needed that Christmas in order to feel the peace and quiet of the holidays was to feel that his somewhat arduous, sometimes repetitive, and always talented work mattered. That his backup dancing had some important worthiness to it so that the way he had built himself up to be someone special meant something in a greater way. She helped him to find the greater meaning in his joyful dancing, and he felt the peace and quiet he deserved after much effort. They kissed under the mistletoe that Christmas, and he asked her to be his best girl at Valentine's too, and she was happy that he asked her that question. He asked her if she would like to learn some special dances for Valentine's Day that they could show to a few others. She was a little shy and but was sure that he could probably teach her a few dances. If someone could do it then he could do it. She didn't find peace and quiet that Christmas, but she found that her psychology classes had some things in them despite all the sitting around that she could share. Her Christmas was one of courage and sharing so that her best boy could feel the peace and quiet of the holidays.